it's an interesting um, thing because, of course, you have you share the same name. And for a time, there was a chance that you could have gone into acting. You played his son in a film, didn't you? And then you were offered the Karate Kid. I did. Role. Well, actually, I didn't play his son. I played his nephew. I was oh, demoted okay. to, to nephew on, in that film. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I was I was always interested in film and music, you know, since I can remember really. But um, yeah, it was just a matter of the music was what I decided what I loved the most. It was a big decision, though, though wasn't it? Because you were doing, you know, you doing acting and come from sort of that. that I had done some acting. Thing. I was actually going to film school as a, I was entertaining the idea of directing more than, than really acting. So, uh, but uh, I was got, got more and more involved in music and uh, I kind of went down that path and haven't looked back. No. And, and so therefore you decided to go into music. Was jazz music something you were attracted to from a very early age once you decided? Well, that? music in general, but my parents are big jazz fans and mm -hmm. I, I grew up hearing the music around the house and then uh, I grew up just it's about 10, 15 minutes down the road from where the Monterey Jazz Festival is in California. Well, that's handy, isn't it? So my parents started taking me uh, at a pretty young age, about eight or nine, I think. So I think that's what really got me interested in wanting to learn to play. An and that's been your life for well, many years now. Let's uh, yeah. take a look at you playing with the band. sort of feeling for ten past nine in That's the morning. A moody, yeah, it's a moody <laughs> piece, yeah. Um, now you say that you grew up down the road from the Monterey Jazz Festival when you were going and meeting people, weren't you, from an from early age? Because, of course, if your dad's Clint Eastwood, he's going to know everybody on stage and have access. Well, yeah, he's a big music fan, jazz fan, so he's, you know, he, he knew quite a few of the musicians, yeah. So and the music. jazz world is, you know, I mean, uh, well, the musical world generally there are some great stories to tell. I mean, if you're going backstage and meeting people, meeting big names, was that a kind of extraordinary experience for a nine-year-old? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, some of them I knew who they were, you know, from seeing the albums around the house and, and hearing the music, you know, through my parents. And some I didn't know as well at the time, but um, you know, would later realize how influential they'd be. And which were the who were the big names who made a big impact on you at that stage? Um, well, I saw. Ella Fitzgerald there, um, Sarah Vaughan, um, uh, Count Basie. Count Basie Big Band was the very first, one of the very first concerts I ever saw. Actually, when when Count Basie was still alive, and oh, going fantastic band, so. to have seen those um, people. Yeah, it was it was great. It was it was quite a quite a treat to be able to catch some of those people. Performing yourself, of course, you, you just flew in from Lithuania. I did, yes, this uh, late uh, yesterday. Is a big jazz scene in Lithuania? There's quite a big jazz festival there. Yeah, mm. yeah it was it was a lot of fun. It was good, 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 good audience, good festival. 